So, good evening. My name is Dalen Dufemeyer. I'm glad to see that everybody made it out on this uh, wonderful uh, Midwest evening. Um, so, tonight I was asked... <laughs> yeah. I was asked to tell you why I'm marching on the Pentagon in this year, 2009. The year 2009 marks many significant world changes. It'll be uh, a quarter century since I was born. Um, the United States of America has a black president. Uh, the year 2009 also marks many significant stagnations. Gay people still cannot legally marry, and where they could, that's now in question. Women people still make 30% less than men people. Black people are still seen as athletes and entertainers. Hispanic people still refers to anybody that speaks Spanish that's not from Spain. Chinese people still refers to Koreans, Thai, Vietnamese, and Japanese people. Poor people are still not part of any political platform. Youth people are still not seen as fully functional human beings. Working people are still seen as lazy, incompetent, and good for nothing. I am marching on the Pentagon in two weeks because of the 2009 stagnations. I live in a country where a black male who had not even reached his 23rd birthday can be shot in the back by a police officer on the platform of a train station while being recorded by dozens of cameras, cell phones, and any other recording device, and nothing happened to that officer yet. I fight for a country where this cannot happen. We live in a country where poor and oppressed youth, often black and brown, are being recruited into the military as if killing people was a legitimate job opportunity, where promises to see the world are in direct contention with the harsh realities of being on the front line of war. I am tired of state university administrators who casually make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, cut student and community services, <coughs> but raise tuition as if those things go hand in glove. March 14th in Pilsen is where I wage the fight. The collective act of defiance, demonstrating with people that want to fight for change, demonstrating against status quo who want to fight against change is what keeps me going. In the past six months, people stood shoulder to shoulder in below freezing weather to fight against a homophobic bigot who was inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame. People stood in solidarity with Chinese people when the racist attacks against the Olympics were underway. People stood against the closure of the women's clinic down in Pilsen. People stand against racist police death squads. People stood with the working class of Chicago when greedy factory owners wanted to break the law and lay off workers to open a non-unionized factory in a different state with the support of the big banks. We stand against the government war on immigrants, and I encourage you to do the same on March 14th. People are also organizing buses to march on the Pentagon to march on Boeing, to march on Lockheed Martin, to, to march on Kellogg, Brown, and Root, to march on General Dynamics. Marching on war profiteers, collectively organizing people to channel their frustration sustains my humanity. Every demonstration, every rally, every march, every meeting works to tip the lopsided scales of injustice. And with every ounce added on the side of justice, my humanity is refreshed. Every time my job wears me down, I think about riding on the bus to Washington, D.C. And not because the 14-hour bus ride is inherently pleasurable, <laughs> but because I get to meet hundreds of people just like people in this room who are fighting to also tip the scales. So I entreat you to take the first step into the rest of your life by joining me on the bus. Joining us on the bus is more empowering than being here. Marching on the Pentagon is more empowering than being on the bus. But the most empowering thing is knowing. Knowing that this demonstration, 
This rally, this march, this meeting is the first of many.